Hey everyone, welcome back to this Tosca Automation playlist and we'll talk about another interesting feature today. So today we are going to discuss about one of the features which is available uh, on the web tables. So if you want to verify the row and column count of a particular web table, then there is a method which you can use to get the total row count and the total column count very easily from any particular web table. So let's look at an example. Now we have used this many times. Uh, we have seen how uh, we can steer this table uh, using the constraints action mode on different columns, right? But say for example, you have got a web table and you have to verify how many rows are there um, and how many columns are there, okay, for verification purpose. So how are you going to do that? So for that, uh, there is a property called row count and column count, okay? Um, and we'll see how uh, we can get this and also verify it. So for this, uh, I have already scanned this module. So I'm going to create a couple of test cases here, okay? So coming here, I want to verify row count. Okay, and uh, the second test case is to verify the column count. Now um, I'm going to drag this module here uh, in verify row count. And what we need to do is we need to go to the table object. Okay, so this is our table object. And here uh, we need to, uh, as I said, uh, specify a property called row count. Okay. And then we are going to assign this row count uh, into a buffer variable. Okay, so we are going to call it row count. And uh, in the action mode, we are going to select buffer. Okay, so what it's going to do, it's going to get the row count using this particular property. And then it is going to assign the value to the row count buffer. Okay, so uh, that's done. Um, and then uh, what we are going to do is uh, we want to verify that this particular table has got the specific row count, right? So for that, uh, let's do a verification then. And for that, we are going to use the T-Box evaluation tool. Okay, and then um, I just need to do a verification here. So I will be verifying a buffer of row count okay uh, equals equals uh, five so i need to close this and then equals equals five right so this is a verification i want to do and then let's move on to our next test case uh, which is the column count okay so let me drag this module again here and this time around the method is same but the name is different so we need to get the column count okay and then i'm going to also create a particular buffer called column count and then change the action mode to buffer here okay um also after this uh, what we can do we can add another test step here Again, T-Box evaluation tool. And here uh, we are going to verify. So we are going to verify the column count. Okay. And equals equals four, right? So we have got four columns and we have got four rows, okay? Or actually the five rows because the first row is the header so it should uh, actually verify correctly okay so if our methods are correct so let's quickly go ahead and execute this and check if this test case passes or it fails okay so the test case has passed and let's see what are the values which has been captured here okay so here uh, the buffer with name row count is set to five and then in the evaluation um, the expected was equal to 
actual so it's evaluated to true and then here column count was four and the actual versus expected was also true so the verification has passed right as a best practice don't forget to rename all your test steps and um, also the test case names which i have already done and then you should also uh, start the work state to complete it right so as you can see it's very easy to verify the row count and column count this might be useful in some scenarios where you have to uh, put a verification on these particular values so that's all for this particular video i hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new today if you want to watch more videos please subscribe to our channel and we'll come up with lots more videos so keep watching and keep learning Tosca.